Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that carries a mechanism. Today, we're going to talk about a holster from a company called We The People Holsters. But first, let's try to pay some bills. And we're back! Okay, hopefully you guys bought one of my custom Kydex sheaths that I make for knurfles. But today, we're going to talk about a holster made for a mechanism. And as always, we're going to use a replica mechanism. This is not a real mechanism. This is a replica. Identical to the one I carry on my person daily. The CZ P10S, if you will. Not to be confused with the Glock 19 Gen 5 I use for duty. But this is what I carry in my personal life. And although this is a replica, I do have some replica magazines that work. Here's the extended mago that gives me a full grip on the replica mechanism, like so. But generally speaking, when I want full concealment, I use the flush fit magazine. It's about how wide she is, about an inch and a quarter. I know there are smaller, thinner mechanisms one could carry, but for me, I fire the real version of this replica mechanism very well. And I generally carry in a shoulder rig. Now when I'm not carrying in a shoulder rig, I use an appendix holster. Okay, generally a Chidex one. And yes, I can make these myself, but I do like to purchase from other companies when I can. So this is wethepeopleholsters.com. You can check out their stuff there. This is a topographical map in orange and black. Very cool. We're gonna get into it. So now, as you can see, I do not have the optics cut on this replica mechanism here. So I did not need a holster cut for an optic, which I would have preferred I could have gotten the version that came all the way up to at least here with a like a sweat shield up to here. I actually like that. This just seems a little goofy to me, although it does hold very solid. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I haven't had any issues uh, holstering and reholstering this while wearing. The clip works just fine. As you can see, I have it set up this way. You can set it up for a cant and so on. Now. This claw mechanism here, as you know, when you're carrying appendix, the belt goes through this clip and then catches on this claw and then kind of pushes the heel of the mechanism towards you. So you print less, right? So I like this. Uh, this came with two sizes, a taller size standoff like so, but I thought this would work fine for my needs. This whole thing was like 79 bucks shipped with the claw. I like the holster. I would have preferred that they also provided a non-optics cut for my particular mechanism. Would have been sweet. Just like this full cover here, I would have really preferred. Uh, I do like the topographical bit here. One thing I did notice is in the serial numbers of my replica mechanism here, the orange rubs off. Huh. It's almost like an orange color fill. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera there, but it does rub off, which I'm not terribly thrilled with but it's not the end of the world either. So that's just something I noticed about this color. It'll it'll wear off on your mechanism on the sharp spots. But other than that, draw is nice and, and positive. It's in there, it's not going anywhere. I don't know, I get a good full grip on the mechanism as I draw, not bad. Uh, the retention's decent. I paired this with a Core Essentials belt and I think I'm gonna order, I did order a, um, a foam wedge from tier one concealed. That's another company I'm gonna take a look at their holsters next. I'm gonna get an appendix rig from them. But other than that, I mean, I think it's a pretty good holster. It's um, it's snazzy looking, you know? It's sharp looking, it's nice. It works well for my needs. It's fairly minimalist. Um, the sight channel is very straight, which I appreciate. A lot of companies get that wrong. Again, I would have liked to see the full version for non-optics cut because I don't use optics on my carry pieces. However, this does seem to work just fine. Belt goes through there, catches this. It works like it's supposed to. This isn't getting in the way of anything. I think we're in good shape. So overall, I give this holster uh, and the experience factoring in the price of 79 shipped. Meh. I don't know. I would say a B. Maybe a B minus. It did ship pretty quickly. I will give them that. So yeah, uh, it's a recommend. I would recommend We The People holsters. Why not? 
you know, I just wish I had some more options for this piece. And yeah, maybe a B minus as far as holsters go. The orange is rubbing off on, on my uh, serial number a little bit. It's not bad. B minus is still a buy. I would still purchase from these guys. But the edges are fairly smooth. They're not very polished. It looks good. It doesn't look bad. I, I would recommend We The People holsters. I think for the price, you're getting a decent holster. They ship quickly, and if you just want something out the door, why not? So, that's my two cents. I know this is uh, weird to show a replica mechanism on the channel, but I figured I would uh, cover a holster because you guys have been asking. So, there you go. WeThePeopleHolsters.com. Check them out. Quick shipping. You know, decent product as far as I can tell, and if you have one of the more mainstream mechanisms, like a Glock or a Smith & Wesson or something like that, I bet you there's even more options for you. So that's my two cents, and I will see you guys next time on 5-Minute Knives.